New digital anchor Christine Bracconi joining us now from the NBC4 Streaming Center. A little look at the stories making headlines online this midday. Hi, Christine. Hey, good morning, Brad. Top online this morning. As we get closer to the midterm elections, the polls keep coming. And the latest political poll of Ohio voters conducted by the Trafalgar Group has, re has placed Republicans ahead of their competition yet again in the two most high profile races, governor and U.S. Senate. We'll start with the governor's race. Mirroring the results of the Emerson College poll released last week, that we told you about. Survey respondents preferred the incumbent governor, Mike DeWine, the Republican, by nearly 16 points to his Democratic opponent and former Dayton mayor, Nan Whaley. DeWine has 53.8% of the vote in that poll compared to Whaley's 37.9 currently. And for the race for Ohio's next senator, it's much more competitive. The polling has J.D. Vance with 49.5% of the votes and U.S. Representative Tim Ryan with 44.9% of the vote. The margin of error for Trafalgar's poll is 2.9%. You can take a closer look at the results over on NBC4i.com. Also trending, a former Ohio State football player from Westerville has been arrested on multiple robbery charges in Memphis, Tennessee. According to court records, 23-year-old Marcus Williamson is facing charges of aggravated robbery and kidnapping. The victim told police she was kidnapped by a man who claimed to have a weapon. She claims he drove her to an ATM and told her to withdraw $500 before taking the money. Police were able to find that vehicle that matched the description and then arrested Williamson the next day. His bond has been set at $80,000. Williamson is scheduled to appear in court in September. And finally, an exciting expansion news for a popular Columbus-based distillery. Middle West Spirits is doubling its distribution across the United States and introducing new offerings for the fall and winter months. Middle West, known for producing award-winning spirits since 2008, has partnered with the Independent Distributor Network to expand distribution to additional 15 states, putting their hard-to-get-a-hold-of around the holidays bourbon cream and other spirits in more than 40 states now. Middle West also launching a new gym this winter and they will reopen service bar which is owned and operated by the distillery in the short north it's actually been closed since the pandemic so that'll be fun and uh, exciting to get back open in the short north brad samples yes. samples all right christine thank you very much for the latest news weather sports 24 7 make sure you visit nbc4i.com stay connected while you're on the go with our free nbc4 news app download it today the apple or google play stores